Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Pran, host and Click Digest, and today we have with us the Spice X Life 404, and the model number is MI404. This is a low-cost, affordable smartphone and comes with interesting price factor. The MRP on the box is three thousand four hundred ninety-nine, so that uh, it means that you can expect it to be uh, retailing around three thousand rupees, and for three thousand rupees, it packs in a lot of uh, specifications. Giving you a quick uh, tour of the specs mentioned on the box. We'll quickly open the box and show you what's inside. It runs Android KitKat. It has a four-inch uh, WVGA display, one gigahertz processor, five hundred twelve MB of ROM, two fifty-six MB of RAM, fourteen fifty mAh battery, dual SIM with three G and two G support, three point two megapixel rear and one point three front-facing camera. It comes with memory card support and it supports HSDPA plus. Which means that uh, you can run 3G on this uh, without any problems, and it's a dual SIM phone, which is again a plus. It looks stylish from the box. Let me open the box and uh, show you how the product actually looks like. The one that we have here is golden in color, and uh, you can see that the finish here is very, very rich. It looks uh, very nice and premium. The back is made up of high quality plastic. It's gold in color and. Gets the brushed kind of finish that we see on the likes of the Zenfone 2. On the left hand side, there is a volume rocker. Uh, this uh, key is fairly tactile, and on front there is a 480 by 840 pixel uh, display, which is a 4 inch display in size. There are three touch capacitive buttons below it, and there is a power wake up key on the right hand side. On top there is 3.5 mm audio port, charging port, and on bottom there is a microphone hole, which is here in the indent. The back is removable. There is a 3.2 megapixel rear-facing camera with LED flash, and there is a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. Let me open the back and show you what's uh, underneath. Under the hood, you have space for the battery, and there are two SIM card slots here and a micro SD card slot for expanding the memory. Let me keep this aside for a moment and show you what else is in the box. So, removing this part, you get a soft uh, silicone gel cover. Which is a snap-on back cover for protection of the phone. This is a very good accessory which has been bundled. If you buy it separately, it will easily cost you two to three hundred rupees. This is the battery which has been bundled, and it's a fourteen fifty milliamp battery. There are user guides, warranty cards, etc. There is also a screen guard which has been bundled, so it is a plus. It will also cost you around hundred to two hundred rupees if you go for a good quality screen guard. So you have good. Amount of accessories inside the box, and uh, there is a box which contains rest of the accessories. Uh, so let me show you what else is there. There is a standard wall charger which you can see here. Let me take it out of the wraps. There is a 3.5 mm headset or earphones which are provided. Let me show you the quality here. These are standard earphones. Nothing very special here. 3.5 mm and come with a, a button to accept or reject the call and microphone, which is inbuilt, so you can listen to music and take calls on this. And there is also a standard USB to micro USB data cable. And that's all in the box. Let me quickly get back to the phone and uh, show you how the phone looks like. And after a quick boot, this is how the phone looks like. It comes with a 4 inch display, which is fairly good when it comes to Display quality. Let me tone down the display brightness a bit so that you can see the display more clearly. Uh, the display quality and color production is fairly good. The contrast levels, etc., are also fairly good. But the viewing angles are not uh, very high. You can see that the screen goes uh, slightly dull, or uh, the visibility goes down when you turn it to certain angles. From this angle, it's very hard to see anything. But from this angle, it's still good. But we can't complain much. This phone comes at a very competitive price, and you don't find this beautiful screen on phones in this price segment. It looks really good and sharp. It comes with a fairly snappy interface. It's not very slow or anything. It comes with Android KitKat, which looks very close to stock, and nothing much has been customized. Let me quickly show you the camera performance by taking a few pictures and uh, show you how good this phone does when it comes to taking pictures with the rear as well as front facing cameras. It comes with a 3.2 megapixel rear shooter and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. I've taken two clicks uh, just to be sure and let me take a front facing camera picture as well. This is me making this video for you. 
and these are the results uh, as you can see this is the front facing 1.3 megapixel camera uh, selfie that i have taken and the detailing is not very high however the clarity seems to be decent i would not say it's very high in quality but uh, you can uh, live with this quality in, in case uh, you want to take occasional pictures and this is how the rear camera performs and i find it to be fairly satisfactory it is uh, taking the pictures with good color accuracy you can see the objects in the background and you can see the picture how it comes out to be the clarity and detailing is uh, just about average not bad but uh, for a phone priced at around 3000 rupees it's really great it comes with the meager specifications it's not very heavily loaded it comes with a 1 gigahertz processor only 256 mb of uh, ram and 512 mb of rom let me show you the storage settings here and uh, you can see under storage that the available memory is only around 124 mb right out of the box but good thing is that you can change the preferred install location to removable sd card or you can leave it for the system to decide you can put a micro sd card and install application it will not bother you much if you are looking to upgrade from a feature phone and looking for a smartphone which does not dig, dig a deep hole in your pocket and is affordable comes with a decent screen and comes with 3g dual sim support and also looks good you can definitely upgrade to the spice x life 404 and the model number is mi 404 it is a thumbs up from us in the price segment that it has been placed in and if you want to pick up one for yourself i'm leaving direct link in the description section below where you can check out the best buy prices this is all we have on our hands on review and unboxing of the spice x life 404 if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest video updates from intellect i just make sure to hit the red subscribe button this is all we have on this one this is your host rohit purana signing off thanks for watching